Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I want to show you how to live stream from your YouTube channel. Now, you can live stream to a selected group of people, anybody that had the link, or you can make it as public as you want. So I'll go through the steps of sharing your screen and yourself through a live stream and where it gets saved to and how to make sure everything is set up correctly for you. Okay, so just some things to note before we get started here today. And I'm going to put this link down below in the description also. So this enable live, this is from you, YouTube. Um, now I'm going to be showing you how to live stream from your computer and sharing your desktop uh, that way. We're not using mobile. You can see if you were live streaming just from a mobile, dot, uh, mobile device, you would need to have a thousand uh, subscribers. And these things change all the time. YouTube does change these. Uh, so it's always good to, you know, just come back here and see what the requirements are. Like I said, I'll put the link down uh, to this, but make sure your YouTube channel is verified before you do this. Uh, even on this, if you just follow the links off of this, so if I click the verified here and then go to verify your channel, you'll be able to see if you're verified. You can see on my channel, I'm already verified. Now, the other thing that I just wanted to point out, we'll be using some other software with this too. So I'm not going straight from YouTube. I'm adding in uh, this software. I'm using OBS Studio. This is free. Um, so you can see, you can download it Windows, Mac, or Linux here. Uh, there's other ones out there. There's lots of uh, streaming software that uh, you could be using. I'm just using this open source one here and it's worked well for me, the one I use. But if you're using other ones, that's fine too and it's going to be fairly similar so just that with that out of the way let's get to uh, starting our live stream now there's a few places that you can start your live stream. So I'm just gonna show you the different ones. Uh, right now, I'm just on my front of my YouTube channel and I'm logged in. You can see if I go up and click in um, how I can quickly access YouTube Studio. But uh, what you can do is just go up to this little camera right here. If I click on it, you can see where you have your upload. You have go live right from here. Now you can also go to your YouTube Studio and there's a few different places to go to that, but I'm just gonna click on YouTube Studio here. And when you're in your studio, you'll see that again, you have the create right up here. We have our go live and we also have our go live button right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click it. And from this point, we're only a mere minute or so away from getting everything set up in here. Uh, right now, you can see this is a previous one that I've done. A lot of times what's gonna happen when you go in for the first time, you'll see it probably will default to webcam. We're not using the webcam. So this is when we'd be just using YouTube, uh, going through uh, just their services and then hooked uh, right through the webcam and talking that way. We're hooking up through OBS through a stream on this one where I'm gonna be showing you how to share your screen and everything. So I'm going to click on this one and we're going to start setting up from this point on to get our live stream going. So if this is your first time setting this up, you might uh, see a different pop-up, but the same information is right here. All we really need to copy from here and what we're gonna move over into OBS is this stream key right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy this. Uh, keep this private. Uh, some other uh, uh, software for streaming, you might need this stream URL, but for OBS, we don't. I'm just gonna grab my OBS software. I, I like working off of dual screens uh, and then I, a lot of times I'll keep my OBS open on the other one because then I can switch scenes and everything. I'll show you that a little bit too. But I need to go to my settings right here and uh, we need to go to stream. You can see we have uh, already have the service YouTube right here. Uh, if there was something else like Facebook or Twitch, you can see where you switch, but we're using YouTube and the server. I'm keeping it the same as this. I'm gonna go control V for paste in here and apply. So now this connects my OBS to my YouTube stream. Now at this point, uh, there's a few other things. Before I go ahead and hit start streaming here, uh, I might wanna make some changes and some adjustments. So, you know, uh, you wanna try to avoid lag in it. I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, what I wanna do is uh, change this to low latency here. Um, if you hover over the question mark, you can see uh, where th what it's best for and everything like that. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to show you too, and I'm just gonna go back to my uh, OBS 
right here is in the settings. I'm going to go settings again, and I'm going to go under output. You can adjust this this video bit rate and the audio bit rate. Uh, again, this depending on what you're if you're getting any lag. I have mine set at 3,000. Uh, you can set it higher uh, depending on what the quality and the lag that uh, maybe you're experiencing with it. Uh, same thing with the audio bit rate too. So I'm just going to go ahead uh, and move uh, this out of the way here. So I'll just hit OK here because this is all set up and I'm just going to move this over here. I'll just maximize this one. Um, and at this point, uh, everything through here is set up the way we want. And then if I go ahead and take in OBS, I can go ahead and hit start streaming. So at this point, it will give me a, um, it's going to go and you can see that it turns green over here. And if we watch my stream come over uh, top, this might take a few seconds. You can see that it says excellent condition right here and it's starting to come through. I'm not live on YouTube. This is just showing me uh, my stream of what's happening. It's just my desktop right now I've captured. Now the thing to think about uh, and I can go with this into a little deeper into a, a different video, but in OBS I have different scenes. So if I go ahead and hit my webcam here, this switches to just my webcam and the the scene is here the sources are over here so i put in audio for my mic and i put in video capture with my webcam notice that it just came up there is a delay between the two things so sometimes that can be confusing when you're live streaming uh, when people are chatting and there's a bit of a delay when you're talking and it takes a little while to get responses but uh, you set up these scenes that you go back and forth on and then you can add just with the plus and minus, you can add more things. So if I, on the webcam, you can see I can add a browser, I can add a, a, a you know, if I had a different uh, display I wanted to show, I'd go through and set them up here. A lot of times if I'm talking, you can even use green screen with OBS. I have the green screen behind me, I could get rid of it. Uh, but let me know if you want me to go in more detail. But to you, if you have your couple scenes that you can switch back and forth, maybe it's a desktop, uh, like on this one, I just have my display capture and my audio. And I could also actually put uh, my video on top of this one too, so I could have a little me uh, there too. So that's just a little bit about the scenes and the sources, but again, I can go through a different bit video explaining that. So now if I, I'm just gonna go uh, move my OBS back over and now I'm all ready to go live on this one. And all I have to do is hit this button right up here. And remember, I'm not gonna get anybody responding to this. Well, I don't think I will because I have it set to private on this one. Now this is where you can see right through here, if there were people coming online, um, I could go through uh, uh, different things. And so I'm testing it out. Uh, and people will get the likes in here. Now we have a live chat uh, also. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go through here and hit the pop out, uh, pop out on here and you're gonna get this live chat that you can kind of watch the, the chat through here and you can talk and see everybody talk, uh, but you do have different options in here where you can see you know participants on it and like i said you're only going to see me in this one like this so when everything's done we go through we you know we're having our chat uh, we're streaming right now we're watching our conditions on this one you can see we have our analytics right through here our stream health on it it tells me this is uh, the stream is healthy so that's a good sign so you can be keeping an eye on different things like this and then you're controlling your OBS. Uh, usually, like I said, I have it on a different window, but if I bring it back over, and if I wanted to be talking, all of a sudden if I wanted people to see me, I could start, this is part of the stream now, and you notice that there'll be some lag uh, when you start to see it over uh, in the top, what's gonna be coming live, and there it comes up there. So it gives you an idea a little bit. But so I'm live streaming right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just end the stream and I'm going to show you where this goes and what you can do with it after. So you can see after the stream is finished, it gives you some information. Uh, something I just wanted to point out here, and YouTube has this built in, a lot of people don't know it's there, and you can do this on all the videos too, but edit in studio. So maybe, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. Uh, you can actually edit 
uh, the video uh, through here. So this goes back uh, right to where it's going to be kept. And I'll show you a different way you can find it. Uh, you can add more details and, and you can keep it live or hide it or different things like that. But if we go to the editor too, and I'm gonna do a different video on this, you can th go through and maybe you wanna trim it because at the beginning of lives, when you're just sit kind of sitting around before it starts, before everybody gets there, you might not want this if you keep it out there so you can go through and trim it. But like I said, I'll create a different video how this video editor works in YouTube and you can use it on all your videos too. Uh, but just going back, I'm just gonna go back. I'm in my studio right now in videos go to live right here and you can see that this is what we just created this video uh, right here so i have it set to private you can see here's a previous one here also but i can go through and make all the adjustments just like uh, a different video uh, from it so i can go through i can watch it i can share it with people change it to unlisted to keep it as private so a lot of times i'll if i i just keep mine to private uh, afterwards or delete them to after I have uh, done the live stream on it. So I hope you get this gets you started with uh, live streaming on YouTube, thinking about uh, teaching, uh, maybe something with live streaming to the class. I like it because everything can be recorded and you can keep things up after. And then even in the editor, uh, you can uh, you can edit and fix things and you can download uh, the video too if you wanted to change it in a different editor too. But anyways, hope you liked what you saw. Hope it helped you out this time. Thanks for watching Teachers Tech this week. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorial.